Welcome back to the Warbird Mistress. Today is Wednesday the 27th of May 1942 and this is A Walk Through the War. For starters we visit the 10th Air Force and the China Burma India Theater of Operations as the 11th Bombardment Squadron Heavy of the 7th Heavy Bomb Group transfers from Karachi to Allahabad, British India with their B-17s. And turning today a little bit further south to the Southwest Pacific Area with the 5th Air Force B-17s flying out of Australia strike again at Rabaul, New Britain Island, in vainglorious attempts to remove the Japanese from their stronghold overlooking the Solomons. And flipping the calendar to Thursday the 28th of May 1942, we stay in the Southwest Pacific area with the 5th Air Force, as B-26 Marauders strike the airfield at Leh, New Guinea. We then leave these warm waters for the cold of Alaska with the 11th Air Force, as a B-17 flies the first armed reconnaissance from the secretly constructed airfield at Umak Island and the Aleutians. As the Americans now believe the Japanese are ready to strike at the Aleutians, the Flying Fortress seeks out the enemy, but to no avail. Eleven fighter command elements are now deployed at Umak with P-40s and P-38s, Cold Bay with P-40s, Kodiak with P-39s, and at Elmendorf with both P-38s and Royal Canadian Air Force Kitty Hawks. And we finish today with Friday the 29th of May 1942, where in the Pacific Ocean area of the 7th Air Force in the territory of Hawaii, we see the 19th Transport Squadron of the 7th Air Force transfer from Hickam to John Rogers Airport. They fly there the C-33 and the C-53. And across the Pacific and into the Indian Ocean, we then look at the CBI and the 10th Air Force, as Midkinia Airfield in Burma once again sees the shadows of B-17 flying fortresses as four of them fly over the air stronghold of the Japanese in a high-altitude strike designed to keep the airfield or to combat. The strikes are clearly doing their job as no activity is seen. And that concludes Wednesday the 27th of May to Friday the 29th of May 1942 in this walk through the war. As always, I thank my Patreon patrons and my YouTube channel members, and especially to new members and new patrons. Do remember to shoot me a note with your address if that includes you. Naturally, I would love to make this a full-time daily video type of channel, but right now I do hope that you're at least enjoying what I can offer as best I can. And until next time, this is Claire, and I am the Warbird Mistress. Take care. <laughs>